What's up guys, Inigami here. Let's go through Chaos Difficulty X Drake Coliseum, all of the stages. Level number one is going to be Zeph. We're going to be using a double Blackbeard team. There are two ways to do this strategy. You can use a Marco or you can use one of the zombies uh, with, uh, from the soldier zombies who actually debuffs your team's attack. If you're using the soldier zombies to debuff your own attack, you want to use them before you get to Zeph, because Zeph will preemptively reduce your entire team's attack basically down to nothing. It's reduced by a half, I believe. He has 2.24 million health, so with a Marco special, and if you take all the attacks from all the characters, you will deal plenty of damage back to him. You don't need to use your white beard, you don't need to use a Ors here. With two Blackbeard specials and a Monster Chopper special, you can basically bring Zeph down to death. After this set of attack, all the girls in the back will despair your friend captain for five turns each, and the two guys up front will paralyze or numb your middle row for four turns each. So we're just going to take this attack from all of them and get the despair and reflect all the damage back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't be lazy. Stage number two coming up is going to be John Bart. John Bart level two. We're going to using a double NL quick team. You don't need to have anybody here. You can get rid of the streaming wolf Zoro for a Perona. And what I will make a mistake later is I will use my Golden Pond Usopp before he enrages. John Bart has a hefty 6.5 million health and attacks every two turns for 8,000 damage. So with a double NL team, you will heal up almost to full after every two turns. You just basically need one food every time he attacks and you will be good to go. Uh, you can always replace the Doflamingo for a uh, Kaku. Since you have two Anel specials, you can use both Anels, one for each turn for two specials of boosted orbs, or you can use Dof Mingle with a Kizaru special to boost it even larger. Now, of course, with a double Anel team on a Colosseum, you get to stall forever on the early stages, so make sure you have all your specials ready before you get to John Bart, just in case. Perona, while normally her reduced by 90% won't work after the Anel special, remember that your uh, Anels will heal you up. Now I use my Golden Pound Usopp here before 50%, but at 50% he enrages and boosts his attack to 14,000. So make sure you use your Golden Pound Usopp after he enrages to do a couple turns of damage to him. But with all of our damage, he will go down in two turns. If you have a Streaming Wolf Zoro, Streaming Wolf Zoro is very, very good. Let's you do a lot of damage. Kizaru to increase your chain damage and gives himself a matching orb. And one, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Goodbye, John Bart. Level number three is going to be Foxy. Foxy, we're going to be using a double Mihawk team. It's a Foxy's a really, really easy fight, especially in the compared to many of the other Colosseum stages. All you're gonna want to do is bring someone to unlock your captains because Foxy will preemptively lock you for five turns. So Helmeppo and level 2 lock is all you need to have. Golden Pound Usopp to buy a couple turns. If on turn 2 or after his first attack, Foxy will lock two random characters for 5 turns. So use Golden Pound Usopp and he won't lock your characters. Besides that, use a Mihawk special, attack with everything, and then use your Int Mihawk friend and you will kill everything pretty easily after your... Uh, for what I did is I waited until I had my specials up so I could burst, but if you have your specials up right away, you can always burst on that first turn and just use your Int Mihawk special. Foxy only has 1.92 million health. All the guys around him have 30, oh, 388 million health. I mean, 388,000 health. Foxy attacks with 7,000. Guys around him attack for 5,800. And he doesn't do anything based on his health. So it's a pretty easy kill on Foxy. Just take him out with your Mihawk special, or take all the guys out with your Mihawk special after you kill Foxy first. Goodbye, Foxy, and goodbye, everybody else.
Round number four is going to be Gladius. Gladius is a quick team. We're going to be using a double dex Mihawk slasher team. Stage number four, Gladius is actually pretty easy with double dex Mihawk. He has 3.69 million health. But it's a pretty easy kill because you can use two Mihawk specials, bring him down to half health, and then burst him in a single turn really, really easily too. You don't need to have a killer here. We just, I just use killer just in case I had bad orbs. And you even don't even need the Koza here. You can anytime I use Koza on my teams. Remember, you can always swap out Koza for a Brownbeard. Brownbeard is the free-to-play equivalent of Koza. It's just that I don't have my Brownbeard specials leveled up yet, and it's too hard to stall for a super long time to get his special up. Doflamingo special, Mihawk specials, and your Kaku special. Easy, easy kill on Gladius all by himself. He will preemptively poison, oh, preemptively deal 1111, so 1111 damage to you, and poison you for 5340 damage. So make sure when you get into him, you have more than 6450 health or so, or else you will die. But you can kill him on that first turn. And, of course, level 5 is going to be Gladius and X-Trait together. Gladius on level 4 is going to do the same thing. He's going to preemptively deal 1111 damage to you, so 1111 damage to you, and poison you for 5340 damage every 4 8 turns. We're going to take him down pretty quickly, use your Usopp to stall him here. He will clear debuffs every other turn, so this will only buy us one turn of him not attacking. But it also gives us a health cut. Glaze on his clear debuffs will also swap all orbs to bomb orbs. Make sure you don't accidentally blow up the bomb orbs, and they will deal 10% of your max health in damage to you, which on a double stronghold ace team is quite, quite painful. And every two turns, he will go back and forth between just attacking and canceling all buffs and giving you all bomb orbs. So what we want to do is want to try to kill him on the turns that we actually have matching orbs with our Stronghold Ace team. Avoid his 20% health because he will attack you for 89,000 damage. And below 50% health, he will boost his attack to 11,111 damage. With this team, we don't have to worry too much about our actual health because we have our Marco with us. You can always use Psy Marco, but Int Marco, I mean, Quick Marco is quite nice because he also boosts our orbs. We're going to use Ace here to lock our orbs to keep them into the next round. And make sure we take down Gladius. The orb lock is all we need. We don't actually care about the health. I took the heal here. Just, I uh, actually have no reason to take the heal here. Remember, you always have to plan for that poison damage, so keep an eye out on how much health you have before you use your A special on that poison, because you don't want to die to the poison. X Drake himself has 3 million health. He attacks you for 9,000 damage every two turns. He will preemptively prevent all debuffs to him, and every two turns he'll attack for his 9,000 damage. Below 40% health, he will go to a three turn attack interview interval and boost his defense by a lot for two turns. Below 20% health, he will enrage and boost his attack to 13,700 damage. And when he dies, he will deal 10,000 damage back to you. So use your ace at, before you use Marco, so that way Marco can heal you back to full. Use your Zephyr and get two turns of enjoyably boosted damage with your aces and your Zephyr. He will go below 50% health here, and with that increased defense, we're not actually going to kill him with my ace team. So if you get him just above 50% health first on this first attack, and then on the second turn, deal extra damage to him, that will be ideal. So you can take him down on the second attack. Anyway, uh, either way, with a double strong ace team, you'll have enough health to take tank you'll be able to have enough health to take a couple attacks with him even below his 20 percent attack and you'll even be able to take just face tank his death damage so even if you're using a psi marco just for the heal you only need to do that much damage to take some hits from him just remember that you will have to get lucky with some orbs if you don't have the damage to actually kill him in those two turns in order to plan for that damage reflection because here I will barely survive with 4,000 health after he reflects that 10,000 damage back to us. Some other teams that work out well are a double log Luffy team, Sabo teams, and some other teams like that. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. 
It is X-Ray Coliseum. Coliseums are difficult. Don't worry about it if you can't beat it. Y'all stay beautiful.